Hello, you vangloriously wonderful people. This is the Western Sea Breeze. And I'm about to take see if it's off road. Now, you see, we'd normally do be doing some form of car, like the we're taking the drift remus up a mountain, or I don't know, take one of the other vehicles. Let's see what we've got on this list, like the um, police riot up the mountain. However, this this time we're doing things a little bit differently. Um, this is the series we're looking at take trying something a little different. Um, this is Will Plains off road. Uh, a small little invention made by myself and uh, we'll see how it goes you know it, nothing's concrete you know I've been told that they won't exactly be very uh, promising but hey ho yeah you can only try things once before it gets outdated can't you so <laughs> so as you can We've got the Seabreeze, it's honestly one of the more nicer planes to drive. Um, it's, I can already say one thing, it's not going to be t uh, rivaling any of the top spots. Because, look at it, it's 40 seconds in and even now it's um, just not going to be able to compare. So, <laughs> and I'm just ever so slightly trying to get it around the corner just so that it doesn't actually try and blow up. Um, you'll find that uh, we have a few issues. And when I mean a few, I mean a fair few. You know, like, <laughs> like what's happening here. You know, I because the wind span... Wind, wind, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because the wind span is so wide, you know, it can catch on trees a fair bit. Um, thought I'd um, point out that in the top left hand corner we have Hobo uh, in the saddle and he's got his own little trailer. And then in the top right we don't have uh, British Brandon because that's me. I'm taking the centre roll this time. Hello, good morning. Um, <laughs> in the top right. Uh, we've managed to get uh, American running uh, doing the um, support role. Yeah, so we had this conversation a little bit um, loosely. Oh, hello. I'm almost hitting a uh, rock there, so, but I'm slowly, it's slowly getting there. So me and Brandon had this little um, debate a fair while back. You know, I said that I'd um, do some things on the channel he said yeah yeah that's fine I brought up work uh, taking stuff like the uh, Western Sea Breeze and a couple of other planes up the mountain he was flat out against it I he just did not want to do that so I basically um, managed to force him to uh, join it and now he's downstairs and now he's uh, yes whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah okay so, <laughs> three minutes in and we're already going down the list fairly substantially. Hell, at the three minute mark we are literally in the 200s right now. So, yeah, it's not prom It's not going to be a showrunner. Um, but, it, the thing is, it's making its way up. Um, Brandon's actually really far back. Holy shit. Oh, Brandon's... <laughs> and there he goes. There he goes. He starts flying. Um, also, I will point out... Oh, Brandon's just crashed. Uh, we have Sven finally in the game for the first time in God knows how long. Took you bloody time. Um, in the pyro. And let's just say he regretted that a fair bit. Uh... In his words, I didn't realise how big the wingspan was. And I think, is that is that the point where it explodes? Oh, Hobo's backing up. Yep, Sven's just hopping in um, Brandon's sea breeze. So, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. It's on fire. <laughs> Hobo, get 
get out of there, mate, get out of there, lad. And, oh, okay, I stand corrected. The pyro's just gonna be nicely parked. Okay, good on you, Fender. That's actually um, pretty well done. Cutting back to me, um, yeah, with the sea breeze being as temperamental as it is, um, it wasn't as difficult as you, well, actually, no, it was difficult to do, but it wasn't as difficult as you may seem. Uh, we did a couple of tries off camera, uh, but uh, on both the attempts um, on back in fucking years ago and a couple of weeks ago, actually, of uh, recording this. Um, the sea breeze ended up getting so far, yet basically it got. Oh, yeah, I had a few issues here. Um, so it looks like I am very close to the edge, which I am. But uh, there's several points here where I just ever so slightly clip my uh, wing and let's. I'm just going to say, several times my arse clenched. <laughs> my arse fucking clenched at how close this was. Uh, Brandon's having a few issues. Uh, Brandon's about to... Oh, his sea breeze is dying. Come on, you can get it up, lad. So yeah, I'm... Oh, man. <laughs> I hit Sven. Oh, uh, Sven. So... There's several places on this uh, run where I just cannot, um, I have to try and do some real uh, peculiar lines just to make sure it gets up without um, damaging or exploding, shall I say. Uh, Brendan's not having the best of luck, are you? Well, that's what you get for not dri uh, driving the seat breeze like a normal person. <laughs> so, but once you get used to it, it's actually re fairly nice to drive, you know. It's not the fastest off-road. Um, obviously there are several times where it'll want to try and take off, but here on the um, home stretch I get a little bit of air. Um, but again, it's just a case of trying to not be too quick with it and not trying to go too fast where to a point where it just decides to fly. I, here I decide to um, get slightly confused at the fact that this is a plane and it's not going to be able to get through there. But I, I, get, I get through there perfectly fine. Um, Brandon's now just doing his thing. He's now decided to take the running route. Um, looking back to me, I hit a signpost wouldn't be wouldn't be a that uh well off-road video without uh wait how about what the f what happened <laughs> what? how did you fall off i i actually i actually half tempted to try and uh record that or go back and question why he fell off oh he's uh stuck okay either way so brandon's now taking the uh foot route likewise with sven and i'm getting caught on a rock um this uh, was the point where I was half tempted to think that at any point now my um, engines were going to die because, you know, after the PTSD of the previous two attempts, that was my mental process, but you'll f we'll soon find that it's fine. Um, so this, if all goes to plan, this may be a more regular thing. Uh, you know, taking a few planes off road, uh, and if it works, then we'll take more up. I sure as hell will. Don't know about Brandon because uh, I've now got his password, so it's all. Yeah, we we're cooking, we're cooking, lads. So almost getting it up there, you know, just ever so slightly dodged the things and. There we are with a time of 
there we go. Nine minutes, six seconds, and 43 milliseconds. So, we're off road. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does. And it makes me happy because it proves that, you know, some planes can do it. You know, I, that people doubted the fact that the Seabreeze could not do it. And that's just basically proved them wrong. So, let's have a look at the standings. So, the Western Seabreeze did a time of 9 minutes, 6 seconds and a few milliseconds. We don't care about that. Which then puts it at uh, 388th place. Uh, so that means that is uh, about 36 seconds uh, behind or 36 seconds slower than being on foot as Brandon is now. And a whole 1 minute and 14 seconds, give or take, faster than the Declassia C. So, so a plane is faster up the hip mountain than a car. It could be done, it can be done, and that has proved that. So, in regards to the Chop Shop DLC, this is not from the Chop Shop DLC, we lie, and it is practically last, I think, in the, uh, what's this say? Smuggler's Run Update? Yeah, it, it was. We'll just call it last in the Smuggler's Run Update. I can't see anything being slower than this um, in the Smuggler's Run Update, and it is number one in regards to uh, planes. So, you know, it's taking the top spot for something. Let's give it a round of applause. Yep, there we go. Round of applause. <laughs> um, no, it, taking, taking this up the mountain was a uh, right laugh. It, it was fun. So I'm pedaling. I hit it a little bit too hard, which I think this was one of the reasons why. Um, I had a few, uh, a lot more issues going down than up. So, obviously, Brandon and Sven have decided to tag along in Hobo Saddler, and yeah, that's that's really that. <laughs> As you can see, we had a bit of desync on Bra uh, Brandon and Sven's end. So Brandon looked like he, uh, or Sven looked like he was um, laying flat down the uh, in Hobo's bed. Oof. Take that how you will. Um, oh, ah, three minutes. The engine starts cutting out. So as you can tell, this is not going to be a fine show for the Seabreeze, unfortunately. So. It's gonna be, it's slowly dying a lot, and soon you'll probably be able to find out why. Um, but we're still putting on. I thought there was a hiker there. Hit another rock, and I think if memory serves, no, oh, she's still got a bit of life in her. Oh, she's still going. And another thing I will say, if uh, this was on your bingo card, um, oh, by the way, if, and, oh, yep. <sighs> and that's a DNF for uh, the Seabreeze. She did well, she tried her best, but a DNF to DNF, so that's that. We decided to say, seeing as it went up the hill, we may as well go for a damage descent, and <laughs> As you can imagine, so the t one tip I got was um, cut the engines, not necessarily take the landing gear down, but so far, you know, it's doing well, you know, it, the plane's gliding, it's hitting trees, it's hitting rocks, and then it lands upside down. <laughs> it, um, 
yeah, there, there was no way of getting, uh, getting that back up. It's not like a car where you can just flip it over. So, the damage... <laughs> wrong side point up, and... <laughs> Brandon's YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, the, there's no coming back from this, mate. <laughs> you shot yourself in the foot. So, next up is the P45 Nakota. Another plane, and I'm going to see if it will off-road. So, different plane, new tricks, same old um, shenanigans, doing the spin around shot a lot slower because for whatever reason, I suddenly forgot how to do my spin around shot and decided, let's now do it a lot more slowly than my previous videos. Hey look, a cargo battle. As I was saying uh, previously before uh, the damage descent, um, if you're playing uh, with Offer a Bingo, Feel free to um, put that on your list, you know, if it is something that's on your list. Will a plane uh, either go off road, will a plane be upside down by the end of it? You know, two free points for you. So, lining up my, uh, well, not mine, I think it's uh, Sven's Nakawa, I think. Yeah. So, same old people. Um, we've got Herbo in the saddler we've got Brandon actually on the um, weapon trailer and Sven is fuck knows what he's in he's behind the rocks um, or the log pile shall I say so starting the ascent in the Nico oh yeah he's in my um, Maggio because um, yeah it's a car and you may as well use it so <laughs> The Nakota was an interesting um, plane because, unlike the Seabreeze, the Nakota's a front propellered um, plane, so it is very temperamental. It's not like the Seabreeze where, yeah, you could catch it out a little bit. Yeah, this, this just wanted to either take off or just go on to one wheel, and it just made life so much harder to get this thing up the mountain. Um, so, if by any chance you want to see our point of views, you know, if you want to hear the recordings of our lovely voices and not have to hear the British man speak, um, why don't you become a supporter to the uh, Van Glorious channel? By, um, and then you get all of the benefits of ad-free uh, watching and, oh, Oh dear, that's not gonna. Ooh. Yeah, this this we thought was going to end the run, uh, just simply because of a it was in a ditch and b the fact that um, ah uh, gotta plug my oh 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 god this why what the fuck did I do to my team man this, this shit's horrible um. Yeah, this was a point in um, the run where we genuinely thought that the Nakota wasn't gonna uh, was gonna DNF there and then. Um, however, you'll soon begin to find out that it won't and it doesn't. So, yeah, if you want to be a supporter to the Vanglorious uh, Gaming Channel, um, or you need to be one of the form following things, if you want to hear the live, uncut, unfiltered and much longer ad-free uh, version of the Will Planes Off-Road sub-series. Uh, for starters, you can subscribe to the Fangboy's Discord channel um, or become a member there. Uh, you can also become a Twitch member uh, by um, subbing or gifting subs to other people if you're actually that generous and feel like doing so. I haven't because I'm a tight ass and I'm a Brit, so there you go. Um, alternatively, if you're page, if you're you have Patreon, subscribe to me there. I will get your money so you don't have to. Um, and finally, uh, wait, Discord. Uh, I'm having a blank for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. 
Discord, uh, Twitch, Patreon, and you can also become a member on YouTube. Um, all you need to do is make sure you have your Discord link linked to any of those um, devices or any of those platforms. And oh, hello, Sven. Um, <laughs> decided to go for the aerial assault, even though it's the car, it's the plane that should be doing the aerial assaulting, not the car. Um, yeah, make sure your um, Discord link uh, is, um, or any of those are assigned with YouTube or any of the members and you'll be able to become a Magborious Game dis um, Premium member. So you can see all of the glorious uh, uncut takes and the absolute hell we have to go through to make these happen. Uh, <laughs> having a look at the top right hand, uh, top right hand corner and you're not having a good time are you Brandon? <laughs> You see, I always see it from my point point of view. I can hear all the screaming and the absolute hell that happened previously. But, wait, where's Sven? Oh, yes, yeah, Sven's right behind me, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, Sven um, is tailing me, and oh dear, the saddle has gone, and Brandon's making it down the map. Uh, thing just firing shots love to see it you have to have some form of American in the video even though we're, I think we're talking about an American plane either way um, so the Nakoa it's a plane it, it, it's just a plane um, very temperamental when you're trying to drive it normally uh, as you can see it just wants to get up on two wheels or uh, fly. In previous attempts, on both occasions, I think at this very moment in time, um, the plane actually takes off, and I almost actually take off because I decided to almost fall off the mountain. Uh, I'm just trying to get it up, get a little bit of air, and in Hobo's words, did you take off? My reply, no. I just, um, had to go an alternative route uh, to not break the plane. So six minutes in, and we're or not up just yet, but we're we're making we're making steady progress. Uh, everyone's joining us. Uh, there's shots being fired in the background again. Uh, a little bit of a bad collision, and also another case where like with the sea breeze we thought that this was going to be an end uh, run ender because yeah having a huge rock with a huge uh, front mounted propeller isn't fun it's not fun to uh, be faced against so I just ever so slightly grace the rock and with enough power and forward momentum we managed to get it up um, so, to the last third now, and don't know what else is there to say, really. Um, also, I will probably preface, we are, while well, I'm actually doing this voiceover, because I can multitask, uh, <laughs> we're already getting the next lot of vehicles lined up for um, the proper well, off-road. Actually, why am I saying proper? This is a proper world off road. It's just a nice little sub series that uh, myself will be doing from now on. Um, yeah, if we've got a few uh, vehicles lined up, you know, the um, Panto being one of them. And um, yeah, it's um, doing well. Now, with that smoke, I didn't quite know if it was actually the plane or if it was just some um, debris from the rocks or what have you but it's steadily making its way up you know Brandon's or the Sadler's just not wanting to play ball I th does he fall off the map I don't know um, wait is Sven doing it backwards 
Ah, I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll find out. But yeah, if we're uh, looking at getting the Asbo, at, not the Asbo, the Panto and one of the new cars in the well, off, in the Chop Chop DLC uh, up the mountain um, because I thought do a few retests um, you know as a 2024 update so the Panto and I think we're doing the Remus actually Ooh. yeah the, the plane's not looking healthy at this moment in time, I'm contemplating how I should do it because I know the plane's not going to survive all too long. So, is it going to... Yeah. The, it it breaks, and unfortunately, the Nakoa didn't uh, make it. So, <laughs> so the total damage, uh, total loss... Uh, it was just basically a total loss, and there was a slight incident with the anti-aircraft trailer. So, that is it for me for now, I think. Um, that will be me f doing this. If you want to become a Patreon member, there you go. You can have your name on screen. So, my name's... Oh, fuck. Oh, I, I completely forgot about the fact that he mentioned to do it prematurely. You know what? I'm going to just uh, rewind it ever so slightly. Brandon, you can you can adjust this. You can adjust this, mate. Um, somehow you can chop it up, I think, uh, when you actually put this in. So, yeah, this is actually quite fun. Uh, at what point does it decide to break? Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, we'll do it from like eight fifty-six. So, so will the Nakota off-road? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't off-road. It DNS, and it's unfortunate to be honest. But that will be more or less it for now. Um, damage, you know, total loss in incident with the aircraft carrier or the uh, anti-aircraft trailer, so anyway that's all for me for now if you want to become a member you can have your name on screen but, like always my name's Brandon reminding you to stay vanglorious ta-da by the way, April Fools hello <laughs>